Okay. What is Max? This is always the hard one. <laughs> so we're coming at these videos uh, with this idea that you've never used Max before, you've never even programmed before. Um, but what is Max? It's a programming language. Uh, it's not like normal programming languages, I would say, um, because it's so visual. It's uh, rather than writing pages and pages of code and hitting compile or hitting run, Max is sort of always running uh, and it's very visual. So instead of typing, you, you drop these boxes onto the screen, you connect the boxes together into these complex patches, and each box is doing one little bit, but the way you connect all these little simple boxes together creates some complexity that lets you do all kinds of stuff. That's a terrible description. How would you describe what is Max? Um, I mean, I, I, I'd say it would be a visual programming language that allows you to take some sort of real-time information and use it to make things happen, to trigger things, to, you know, to make stuff happen, basically. I mean, and, and it can be used for all different sorts of reasons and purposes and to do all kinds of different things. But when it comes down to it, like you said, it's about taking this input in this oh what was that game? quote about making artists into engineers and makes engineers into artists yeah. somebody had that quote oh it also oh, is like it makes artists dangerously oh, what goodness. was that quote i got to pull i got to pull out the quote i'll pull it, i'll pull it out find it. i'll pull out this quote but um, you know it's a it's a visual programming language it's easy to learn and it's uh, you know in easy you, to learn that's interesting to well, say it's it's learnable. <laughs> it's, it's easier to learn. It's easy to learn. Um, it's easy to learn, and it's in use by a lot of musicians and artists and designers. Dancers. Um, dancers, true, yeah. So it's highly visual. I think that's why I like it, because it's so visual. I can sort of stand like 10 feet away from the screen and get a sense of what's going on yeah. in a program, because yeah. it's so visual. You can't do that with like lines of code. You can't stand across the room and see what someone's working on. But um, yeah, for some reason, you can like... You can kind of get a sense of what a program's doing in Max from from a long way away. That doesn't. Yeah. That's silly, but um, okay. So the code consists of objects that are connected into networks by these patch cords. Um, an object is just a little block, and it has inputs on the top and outputs on the bottom. And usually, an object does one relatively small thing. There are objects that do pretty complex stuff, but in general, objects try to do one simple thing, and they have inputs and they have outputs. So you create more complexity by connecting together, patching together these objects. Um, I think Max is a blast to use. It's really fun and fast. It's like a sketchbook. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I always think of like Max as, you know, by putting these objects together, you're kind of diagramming what you want your program to do. And at the end of diagramming it, you've also sort of accidentally programmed it. Already done it. It's right. like, now it works. So right. I think that's really great. Um, it's relatively easy. I mean, it's not it's not easy like, you know, it's not a toy. Right. Um, but it's not, you know, pages and pages of C code either where, like, if you have one semicolon out of place, your whole thing just doesn't work. Falls apart. Um, and Max tells you a lot when stuff is wrong. You yeah. always, You know, if, if you've written or done something in an incorrect fashion, it will give you error messages. It will turn the box a different color so that you yeah. know like it does lots of things whereas other coding languages like you're saying you have to hunt through lines of code to know what you've done yeah and most like text-based programming languages you hit compile or you hit run if it's not compiled you just hit run and it either works or it kind of completely fails max is odd in that you can have one section of your max patch that's doing something correctly and another section that's totally disconnected mm -hmm that's not even related to, basically you can have two pieces of code running in the same patch and they're not connected. I don't know if that, that's relevant, but um, okay, what do we want to say here? So Max is really, what is Max, not what can Max do, but what is Max good at? It's good at building real-time systems that take input data from sensors and map that data to some kind of output like audio or video or pictures or you know some kind of interactivity. Um, it's great for building systems that can be adjusted in real time. So I think this is why, um, you know, people who make real time visuals or musicians use it or uh, you know, dancers use it. It's it's for real time activity. Um, that said, you know, if you want to do things that are not real time, Max might not be the best tool. You know, Max is so good at real time that it's actually in some ways not good at stuff that's not real time. 
So um, let's see, what else? Uh, visual performance tools, interactive installations. It can do almost anything you want, but uh, it has strengths and weaknesses. I don't consider Max to be very good at doing recursion. Uh, if you've ever done programming where you have like loops within loops within loops, mm -hmm. you can have this process called recursion, and it's really useful um, in some for some types of work. But Max is typically not very good at that. Um, it can do it though. So, all right, um, Max is good at mapping things to stuff. That's the phrase I like to use: mapping yeah. things to stuff. Um, okay, some words. Let's let's go over these uh, five words that we have to know before we move forward. Uh, we're already at five minutes. Okay. The max patcher is the blank document. So if I go up here and say new patcher, it's like making an empty word document like that you haven't typed anything into yet. So it's just a blank document. We'll get to all these little widgets and on the sides and on the bottom. Um, but right now there's nothing in here. Um, now this document can be either be locked or unlocked. And we're, we're going to go over that again and again and again because it's like the biggest stumbling block for people in the first, like, what, five hours of learning Max. Oh, definitely. The it's hardest thing is this little lock unlock icon. So lock unlock, you can hit it with, uh, with you can click on this icon, which is frustrating. Uh, I tend to just use Command E, so you can do mm -hmm. Command E and lock and unlock, or you can just Command click in an empty portion of your patch and lock and unlock your patch. Now, that doesn't mean run and not run. The patch is always running. You right. can't even stop it if you wanted to. It's just always running. Um, but locking it it's your edit mode it's, it's it'll, edit mode it's, it's edit mode I mean right. if, if your patch is locked you can use it but you can't change it really. right like you can click on a button but you can't move the button around right. right but unlocking it you can't click on the button but you can move it around exactly so yeah it's, it's weird so if you're editing your patch you have to unlock it um, and so that is the most sort of frustrating thing for brand new people learning Max so this is a Max patcher it's just an, it's what we call the empty window it's the patcher so an object is the stuff you drop into the patcher. Um, the patch is how you connect the objects together with these patch cords. Uh, patch is like your code. So you drop a bunch of objects in your patcher and then you connect them together in interesting ways. Um, that is the patch. So the patch is like how you connect the patch cords together. Sub patches are just patches within patches. And I think it's probably good to, to say this right off the bat. You can have patches within patches. And that's pretty useful. We're not going to do it right away, but I, it's good to know. And then one of the key features of Max that that you just said was that like the help system is made of Max patches. So in Max, when you get help on an object, it opens up a Max patch that describes that object. Right. So like constantly, I'm copying and pasting out of the help system, right? Stealing right. material from the help system the and putting it into my own patches, like all the time. So that's normal. All right, um, that's sort of what is max. We could talk about what is max all day long, but we're trying to stay under five minutes and we're at eight minutes, so too bad. Too bad. All right.